what's up everybody well I'm on the way to go get what yeah more puppy food stuff them puppies man they just don't know the value of a dollar I tried to teach them that today they don't care so I'm headed to uh, Boonville Arkansas gonna hit the Wally world there's not a lot of other choices around these parts either hit Walmart or you go to the Fort Smith maybe hit the pet smart I've never done that but yeah I don't know what what the prices there are I have no idea but I might just go in there one day yeah might take rooster with me who knows I don't know if she could behave in that kind of environment guys I don't know so we're gonna head that way uh, it's been raining for several hours we probably got an inch of rain there's some areas I'm probably gonna go through that eh, I don't think they'll be flooded but they may be close to it if I see anything interesting I will stop and uh, let you know and uh, puppies are doing real good man they just they sleep all night which is good they don't wake me up they're past their little crying age so they're not crying all the time and squeaking uh, they're fun but I need them gone need to get them home that is a priority I don't want them here for long because they poop and pee and I gotta take care of them which I don't mind but it's hard on me <laughs> and you know there's there's things that happen in your life that you may not necessarily want or be ready for uh, and you may not like it but when it's all said and done you'll be glad you did it or maybe you won't but nobody lives a perfect life where nothing ever occurs I wish but it doesn't work that way and you know I didn't have to take in Millie or Tilly and I knew that was a possibility because I couldn't get near Tilly soon enough to get her spayed. Well, she took off on me. Once she come back, she was pregnant and it was too late. My vet's not gonna spay them when they're pregnant. So that's what had happened. I laid, made my bed and I gotta lie in it, but they are good, smart dogs. Let me tell you, these puppies are smart. I've raised quite a few, you know, doing the shelter and these guys pick it up quick man they're smart they've already recognized that you know when I'm uh, bringing food to the other dogs I have to feed them now at the same time because they see the bowls and they start barking and going nuts yep must have some of that in them from Miller all right guys I'm gonna uh, concentrate on driving uh, we'll see you here in a little bit Oh, the only time I cheat, get a McBiscuits. Yeah, this is a great idea, guys. Oh my God, I'm getting so it's pouring. Let me get a number McFive. With a medium McOrange juice and a sausage McMuffin. That's it. Bad. This sucks. This is a great idea. <laughs> McBye. Yeah, this is wonderful weather. And then I took the route that floods all the time. That's all right. We're in a truck, right? Well, if it's flooding, they'll have a road sign up here blocking the road. It ain't been raining that long. I'll be there before it floods. You may get to see it where it's starting to flood. This is a terrible, terrible area for flooding. Alright, I'll be back when we get down there.
she'll be coming around that mountain. She'll be coming around that mountain when she comes. One more time. She'll be coming around that mountain. Coming around that mountain. <coughs> when she not a fun drive at all. I hope. They're back home, everything's good. But I don't think this is hitting like this back home. I looked at the radar. And actually, I had to turn around. If you guys didn't see that, I, for whatever reason, I had it in my mind I was going to Oklahoma. But I'm not. I'm going the opposite way. Oh, look at this. This, these roads, you never know where you're going to hit a bunch of water. This is a 55 mile an hour highway. Alright, it's letting up, thank God. But this is going to be passing through for several hours. But I ain't got time to wait on all that. i got to get my stuff. Them puppies need food. And you got to do what you got to do. Oh, and this is a terrible terrible road. Potholes, look at it. Look at it. It's awful. Alright, enough yakking. Let me get there. Just jump on the bus, Gus. I don't need to discuss much. Uh, uh, give, me, give me a candy. That's uh, so pretty. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Alright, the ditches are starting to fill up. It was worse back there. I didn't get to the record button in time. Now, this time of year, we get a lot of rain, man. It's getting where any, I just, I just, uh, I dread any storms we get now because they're always bad. Always. But I think this about moved out. It's going to clear up tonight anyway. Can't complain, the last few days have been real nice. I think I'm wearing shorts now. It's in the, what is it, 60 degrees right now. It was uh, 80 degrees the day before yesterday. Probably close to that yesterday. There we go. I love this road. No, never no traffic. You can do 65 no, you know, once in a while. You'll see the high, high, high pole, highway patrol. All right, next stop, Boonville. Alrighty then, we are entering the town of Boonville, Arkansas. You will look to your left, you will see dilapidated buildings. If you look to your right, you will see cow pasture. To your left, another dilapidated building. To your right, more of a cow pasture. The speed limits will decrease approximately starting now. On your left, we have a Western Wear store. I have purchased things in there. There are a lot of older homes here. A lot of grown men on bicycles, just like in Walter. You know why? Because they ain't got no driver's license. You know why they don't got no driver's license? Because they got DUIs or they're on drugs. <laughs> That's why. That may just possibly be a kid, but I doubt it. Them old men ride them little kids' bikes. All right, we're going to be headed right through the center of downtown give you a little tour. Now they actually have a pretty cool, oh, what you say their downtown's got businesses where a lot of places don't. And they even got a super center Walmart, so they do pretty well. Our town, I, I say our town, I don't live near the town. I'm, I'm 13 miles from town, but that's the closest town I shop to. I gotta pay taxes for that town when I buy things online. I despise that fact. All right. 
me turn these old boot bloopers down. There we go. And we're coming through downtownish. Yeah, they pretty much got uh, they got a nicer post office here on the left than I do. We do. But all the businesses are pretty much full, whereas in Waldron, most of them are empty. Now, they do got some empty ones. There's one. But they do a little better job here. Looks like something new's going up here. I don't know. Looks like an amphitheater or something. And then if you go to the left or the right, that's, or actually to the left, that's more downtown. But I am going straight. And I'm not telling you where I'm going. I'm sure the local channels here know where I'm going already. Yep. And we'll leave you on here for a little bit. There's some pretty cool old houses. There's an old church right there. Yes, sir. Boonville First United Methodist Church. 30 mile now. Gotta go 30 mile now. older homes what I notice in a lot of these homes they all need roofs they all need new roofs that's the worst thing you know of the one thing on a house you need to keep up on is your roof if that springs a leak it's going downhill from there all right gotta hit up this hill then it speeds up again I'll probably turn y'all back on when we get a little closer there's some cool things up here Probably going to see some flooded waters. I don't know. I don't think it's really rained that long to create a big problem. But it's it's flooded so bad where I'm going that it washed the whole road out once. I know, because I was headed here. And I had to turn around and go to Fort Smith. And that was not fun. We're heading out of Boonville now. Uh, 45 mile an hour. <laughs> Up here. 55 mile an hour. There we go. Chismville, and they got a pretty cool looking old house that they put back together an old log cabin, schoolhouse. I don't know what it was. I don't know if y'all see that. Well, this is the area that gets the water. But I don't think it's, uh, there was one spot if you see it on the time lapse. Yeah, they got a little bit of water. These guys need to fix, they need to unplug their culverts. That's has to have the problem. Now over here is a little river. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, it's got some water, but and then look over here guys, another A-frame. This guy bought that about five years ago. Never done a thing with it. It has went downhill. That's a shame. Alright, we're at my destination.
conducting my business. We are headed back to Boonville. That is where Wally World is. But I gotta show you this spot, guys. I wasn't paying attention. And I hit it. And if I hadn't been in this big heavy truck, I would have hydroplaned worse. Now, there's no warning on these kind of roads. You just you gotta learn where the bad spots are. And I kind of knew I was in that area. I wasn't filming or nothing. I was just right in here. This water. Is that it? Uh, I don't know. That ain't it. It's more than that. Boy, I hit that water. And this big old truck just kind of drifted. You'll see it. You've probably seen it on the time lapse. Yeah, it was that spot. Doesn't take much water to change your. take you off the road. That river's getting there. You got to understand, <coughs> this is there's mountains around here, so all this water runs down from the mountain. When it gets there, you know you get flash floods real quick. There's Bigfoot on that building. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. Come back to you when I get to the Wally World. <laughs> Just like that, we was back in that Boonville town. All right. Oh, just my luck. My God, oh, what in the name of Soupy Sales? And you can tell I'm turning because you can hear this loud turn signal. It's like loud old people turn signal. I think, I don't remember in the 70s, you did it's your parents or grandparents or whatever. They, you know when they put that turn signal on. Listen to it. Child wipers. And here we go. Now since we were at this light last, I drove 18 miles. Yes. Anywhere you go and you live rural, it's not close. Or if it is, you ain't rural any of these towns you got your Mickey D's over there on the right your Sitco and there's Lynn's Buffet that's Chinese Buffet Jeff ain't been there that's good I've ate there many times we'll have to hit that one he heard it was no good and I said I don't care what you heard I've been eating there for years it's good but just because you heard something don't mean it's true especially who you heard it from you got to know who you heard it from you gotta see their eating habits. Yeah. All right. Get over in the right lane. Again, you can hear my turn signal. Pizza, I tell you. <coughs> oh, that's a buffet. They're all right. One thing I hate about that restaurant, oh my God, you sit in their booth, it hurts. Something spring's gonna pop you in the herd maker or something uh, not very comfortable seating this road if you keep on going mama V's is that direction not gonna tell you where she lives you'd never find it if I was going to mama V's this is the road I'd be on Subway. We had a Walmart, but it went out of business. They were robbing them blind. They didn't say that was the reason. Oh, I'm right here already. Quit talking, my concern. I hope they got Rooster's Dinners that she likes because I'm almost out of Rooster's Dinners. And she's not happy when you're out of Rooster's Dinners. 
All right, I'm gonna go park in my favorite spot, which is all the way in the, I never, I don't care what the weather is, you will never see this man park and drive around and look for a front row spot. I've never been that lazy. I like to park towards the back. Oh, let's park way the hell out here. That's a good spot right there. I don't care who you are, that's a good spot. All right, gotta secure my cameras. We'll be back. All right, we got your puppy food. We got your treats, your milk bones. We got roosters dinners. We got it all. I'm gonna head back. Next time you see me, I'll be at my place and we'll take a look at those puppies. All right. Yeah, uh, we've gotten a significant amount of rain on my road since I left. So we're gonna see if all that work I did. Look at this, this is pouring out the side here. All that work I did on that French drain had any impact. There's a spot up here we're coming to. If the road's flooded, then I know I've got flooding. Thank God I've been out there. Yeah, it's getting close to flooding. Right in here, this is always underwater. So we've gotten a lot of rain. It hasn't stopped since I left. So we're gonna see, I'm about six miles from home. The road I live on to my house to the end of the road, seven and a half miles. So yeah, it takes, <laughs> 15, 10, 15 minutes just to get to the end of my road. Uh, I don't think there's any other spots that should be flooded. Now a lot of these where the culverts and that are, these people don't get out and clear their culverts. So when it rains like this, floods, it just block backs up. You know, the state doesn't come out and do anything. The city don't come out and do anything, or the county. They don't do anything. I'll bet you, let's see, I'll bet you the guy, county guy, is sitting in this church parking lot eating lunch. He always is. Well, he actually might have to be doing something today. Here's another spot that floods. It's not bad. So we may be all right. And I got confidence. Woo! Woo! I got confidence this is going to be all right. But apparently, it's been coming down here. Just leave you on here another minute and see what we come across. You know, I said it before, it's just, you don't get a big break in between these kind of events anymore. You know, you can go back into my videos just in the last two months. There's probably four or five storms, whether it be snow, ice, rain, floods, whatever. It's just, and it's been this way here for many years now. Maybe it's always been that way here, but you know, the people I talk to, not so much. But I take this over living in a city any day, any day, especially nowadays, with all the crazy things going on. All right, guys, this is gonna be a lot of water in the road. I'm gonna turn this thing off, pay attention. I don't want a hydroplane. All right, <laughs> ain't no water up there. We'll go inside here in a minute. That is real deep right there, but I didn't, I got to about here. And the idea is to come down here. If I move this wood pile, I may just jump right across. That is the quickest way to here. And boy, that's a lot of work picking that up, but it's gonna be, I'll get my auger out and dig it. All right, what are you doing out in this? You get back in your doghouse, you get the stuff out and get in the house and go take a look. <laughs> what in the name of Soupy Sales are you guys doing? One person pooped on the pad, but two people didn't. Well, you guys didn't get wet, did you? There's one spot here. I've got a leak there. I cannot find it. Uh, looks like a little bit of water did come in. 
Now, wait a minute. That's because I got a leak in that corner. Well, it's certainly nothing like it was. <clears throat> None of that's wet, so we're good, guys. Were you guys scared? Oh, heck no. We are not scared. What about you, Toast? No, I ain't scared. We doing dirty nose. That's what I call this one, dirty nose. Because you got dirty nose. You got some dirty nose right there. Yeah? What do you think, Oreo? And put, oh, you guys did now though the floor is wet. You spilled your water. Because you're clumsy, clumsy little things. And I got a gallon right here. Alright, you guys settle down. Look at these new bowls, guys. Shooty, one of the subscribers, him and his wife sent me these. Perfect. Perfect for these dogs. Get you guys a drink. Yeah, they drink now. Good babies. All right, well, obviously there's a little more work to do. But I'll get it. We didn't flood, and that's the number one thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Just kind of a goofy one. But aren't my all my videos goofy? That's right. Happy trails.